<laughs> and stay tuned. It's a great interview. Mm -hmm. Just a shout out to Alex for coming on mm -hmm. and being a part of uh, Is That Your Kid today. We're also here with Mike in the background. Um, our friend Mike, he's uh, from the bed. He may chime in eventually. He, he is getting not. real meta right now because he's recording us. Is he? Super meta, yeah. Very cool. He's Very like cool. on bed. That's, that's fantastic. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him <laughs> for too. being here. Me too. And he's got pants here. on and everything. I'm proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have pants on for a while, I guess. Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't know. Well, he does now. Full-fledged. Todd, my friend Todd, Todd, our friend Mike doesn't get cold. Or doesn't get hot because he was under the blankets and it's easily 75 degrees today. And he was under a whole blanket. But he's Two here with blankets. us today. We slept next to, next to each other under the same blanket with shorts on and no top. Cool. Last night. Cool. It was pretty sick. <laughs> this is a great intro. It's a great <laughs> intro. Well, stick around. Stick around for the interview. That's the real meat and potatoes. But we do have a... Uh, a morning and just, and just does this. Mm -hmm. uh, so. so it says, hi guys, I need to say that Mike the Destroyer was awesome and good stuff. And by the way, that's not the first time we heard that. Mike the Destroyer um, was on episode 10.2 talking about Jake's wrestling gimmick. Mike the Destroyer, if you're listening, we've had a couple direct messages and also some emails saying they really like you. Very, so, very articulate young man. Very articulate. So I need to say that Mike the Destroyer was was awesome, good stuff. Dingle arm, question mark. Refridge photographer, question mark. I'm a Star Wars fan. Like that segment as well. Like to see the new order, your brother in Christ, Keith. P.S. I'm interested in a disc to add to my collection and a t-shirt. He's referring to a flying disc, which a is a flying, frisbee. Which is the Zerme professional way of saying frisbee. Mm -hmm. A flying disc. We do love frisbee golf. Mm -hmm. Or disc golf, as my dad would say. Yes, disc golf. So Shenley have... Park, this is a shout out to my dad. You're going down this summer. I plan on <laughs> stomping you at Shenley every time. <laughs> ah, okay. I uh, got a text from my dad because my dad texts now this morning. Yeah, do you guys play any sports together? <laughs> we, we end up literally fighting one another for <laughs> two. That's a sport. Like, we literally. Well, he taught me what I know about basketball. Yeah. And. Still to this day, if we play basketball, we basically will get so angry at one another that we will fight one another. <laughs> we will fight one another. He had texted me this morning. It just said, um, hold on, let me bring up the exact text. So, um, hold on. This is Todd's dad, who who has lifted Todd into a swimming pool. And I pissed all over him. And peed all over his hand. Um, it said, call me about your taxes ASAP. So I called him. And he let me know this morning that our taxes are messed up because Again, we have the same name. Same name. Which goes back to you trying to change your middle name. Yeah. From Gregory, Gregory. to William. William, that's correct. See, I listen sometimes. You pay attention. So our taxes were all screwed up. And he wanted he wanted me to, like, he was just like, well, what do you want me to do about it? Like, he was had that. And I was just like, well, I already filed my taxes. And he was As just you like, should because it's me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess he, he's getting around to it. Um, so he filed his taxes, and they were filed incorrectly because I am on his taxes. Mm. So he actually, he, he went on record to say that there is a $2 refund check for me at his house. That's good, and you should be commended. Because you have, like, hundreds and hundreds of grams of sugar that aren't in your system anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm cutting back enormously. Are you taking my influence? And... Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I know. Alright. Well, um, Tito's Vodka, we talked about the first half of the episode, so we're going to go out on uh, some, just some open uh, ideas to, to pitch to Tito's Mike's here. favorite vodka. Mike Slobodian's favorite vodka. Tito's Vodka. Distilled six times, never seven. It could go head-to-head -head with any of the world's greatest, and you won't even break a sweat, probably. <laughs> Let it be said that Tito's vodka is much cheaper than any of the top yeah, shelf vodkas. Don't say that. It's no, it's less expensive. Well, it's in less terms of quality, it's distilled six times. What are you gonna do? But never seven. A lot less expensive, but the quality's still there. Um. Yeah. 
Um, Tito's Vodka. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of risk of birth defects. <laughs> Good one. Also made with corn. <laughs> also might be the only vodka that we know of. Tito's. Made with corn. Made with corn. No sugar or gelatin added. Tito's. Made with corn. Shake once from freezer. It's in the bottle, so enjoy. All the corn's in the bottle. It's all ground <laughs> up. Tito's Vodka. Corn raised in Texas. Corn shipped to Pennsylvania. <laughs> and vodka. <laughs> What? Tito's Corn Vodka, award-winning distilled homemade corn vodka. <laughs> Good Tito's, drink up. We are in, in fact sponsored by Tito's.